there. My birthday was yesterday, or probably two days after I finished editing this. I am now 21! And six months ago, I made a video to my 21-year-old self, so I'm gonna watch that now. Hi, 21-year-old Endicott. I am 20-year-old Endicott. <laughs> it's been so long since we've last talked and whatnot. Oh, yes, I got it has. this idea from Dodie of, like, you get all of your ideas in the world. So Still true. My video to you. This is your face. You wear your glasses pretty regularly. You dyed your hair red, and it looks less and less red every day. <laughs> this is your face. You don't wear your glasses as often, even though you still kind of need them. And you dyed your hair more red <laughs> since then, which you're probably going to re-dye soon. You wear makeup a lot more often than you used to. Your still favorite true. thing right now is blue mascara. Looks that looks like, a, like cat. a cat. You got your first... You are wearing that blue mascara right now. You got your first binder which is very cool it's very nice Eee, it's still like. cool and nice. You're still wearing your first binder. Makes you look like somewhere in between a Get Back era beetle <laughs> and a paranormal investigator. <laughs> My full outfit almost looks exactly like Ryan Shane in the picture. I think the main difference though is I think you're pairing clothes a lot better now. Looking at clothes that fit a lot better. Your favorite instrument right now is your electric guitar. <laughs> Her name is River Song, because you're a total nerd. Your favorite instrument right now is a gitulele. He doesn't have a name. It's got the softness of a ukulele, but the depth of the lower notes behind it. And it's just sort of really nice. And now you really want to learn either drums or bass. Hmm. I'm not sure which is next. Still very true, and neither have happened about yet. In school. You school. got a... <laughs> I don't know if you've told... You still haven't told them. You still do got a... You plan on studying a huge amount of like music and stuff this semester? Did you do that? Yeah, you did! A music student this semester, and you did like theory, and you're in a... Uh, voice lessons and um, was in a band and took jazz history which that final was so hard <laughs> but you got 98 so did pretty well did you meet any cool musicians yes your problem is that you know so few people who are at like the same level as you are musically mm -hmm. and so you were really hoping to find some people who are like at your wavelength you're still sort of looking for people who really mesh you definitely met some awesome musicians and you've made some really cool stuff with them you just finished your first semester as a junior yeah you're almost done with college How shut up feel? no oh my god <laughs> i don't want to stress you out but <laughs> i just did how's your secret project you're supposed to finish writing it by the end of june you have what was my secret project wait did you choose to direct it or did you have someone else oh direct? it has not been made you did start writing it though the main problem right now is that you don't you have like five different endings you'd have just simply no clue which ending you want to end it with and how that'll change because it'll change the story a lot obviously and you plan to finish writing it by the next fall and then shooting it next fall with some cool film friends that you've met have you written a good song yet i feel like i haven't i haven't written a good mm. song yet i think i have written a couple really cool songs that i need to produce into something that really shows what I'm imagining in my head. Because in case it wasn't obvious, I'm not the best producer. So I'm sort of delaying some cool songs that I really like until I can sort of manage that. But I also might just release them with me just playing them and singing them on guitar because I still really enjoy them. Do you like your singing voice yet? Because despite being a musician, I still feel like I don't have a good voice. I feel like my singing voice can only be good in very, very specific situations and with very specific songs and scenarios. And so my brain still thinks that I don't have a good singing <laughs> voice. How do you feel about that? That is so interesting. I didn't think that I was thinking that. After studying a lot of music and working on it, you, you do like your singing voice. It's not perfect. You've still got a lot of growth to do and a lot of, I think, voice lessons, technical prowess to achieve for you to be really comfortable with it. You still kind of think that your voice only sounds good in some niche situations, but those situations have drastically expanded since you said those words. <laughs> your voice is cool under certain circumstances. And I definitely don't think that every song on this channel is the right circumstance. There are definitely songs that I've made. A lot of same lyric new songs, actually, where I really don't like the way that I turned the lyrics into. 
And I wish I went for something that was a bit more grounded in reality. How's your content? How many subscribers do you have? Let's Ooh. see how many subscribers I have right now. You've sort of shifted your idea of YouTube. You more just sort of treat it as a portfolio. Still true. You currently have... 433 subscribers. You currently have 490 subscribers. Every 100 subscribers, you do a cover of a song from your city gave me asthma in chronological order and you still haven't done 400. Maybe, maybe I'll speed run that after this. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. You just uploaded your May vlog mm. and you just recorded and edited yesterday. Ooh. yesterday. The last thing I posted was the rest of the year vlog and right before that was my environmental chem final. What's your favorite video of yours Ooh, right now? Good question. I think mine will probably be yesterday. Mm -hmm. I really like how it turned out and I think it really showed my, my voice and how much it's grown. It's funny because now looking back on yesterday I think I can do better but I also think that's kind of the point. <laughs> favorite video right now Music wise, I actually really like the two short songs I made for that play that I turned into two videos. I think those are really strong. More recently, I really liked filming Lonely Bones. That was like all me in a dance studio in like four hours. I'm, I'm really proud of that video. Have you had a thousand? No. That'd be weird. Are you monetized? Yeah. No. Oh God, that would be so cool. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> How are your content creator friends? Because you're still obviously a troublemaker through and through. Hell yeah. I think your two closest content creator friends right now are Polly and Armin. Still so, true! Hi guys, if you're seeing this, hello. Hi! Do you still like the Beatles? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Beatles album? I Ooh! Love. What's my favorite Beatles album? Probably Magical Mystery Tour. I know I'm gonna say the White Album right there. I love the White Album. Yep! <laughs> But also, a lot of people sleep on Let It Be. That's a great album. That's got some really fantastic songs to it. Is your favorite Beatles still Paul? <laughs> Is my favorite Beatles still Paul? Always will be. Have you have you made any new friends? Have you made any new musician friends? Yes, and yes. <laughs> Can you tell how much I want to meet in-person musicians? <laughs> I made a lot of really cool friends this semester and I became a lot closer with a lot of people who I wasn't as close to. This last birthday, like my 21st birthday, I've gotten the most amount of birthday texts that I've ever been given before and I felt very, very loved. <laughs> and I'm really grateful for all the people that I surround myself with. They're amazing people and not only that, but they're also amazing artists creating cool shit with cool people. What more can you possibly ask for? <gasps> you just got your first record player. First record player? I don't think Where I is it? more than it's one It's in a box player, over there. But your current first record. Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> but now I wish I got vintage ones instead because I don't think I like the, <laughs> the anniversary editions. But that's a different tirade for another video. <laughs> Oliver. I'm I'm in a show. I'm in Oliver. I'm I'm playing Mrs. Sourberry yeah, you and are. other miscellaneous ensemble members. How did that go? How was it? It went living... well. It's interesting that you were thinking about that because I've like almost completely forgotten it. I was living at your new dorm. <laughs> You're on a floor with all your friends. You were. I hope it's fun. It was How's COVID. How's all your health stuff? Nothing dire. Don't freak out. Still viewers. not. The not endicots in the room. <laughs> uh, I just had a sleep study and I'm gonna have an allergy test. Mm -hmm. You probably have sleep apnea. Mm. Did you go? You don't have sleep apnea. You take one sleep study at home and then you go to a sleep center. <laughs> you have idiopathic hypersomnia, which is fancy talk for we don't know why, but you're tired all the time. And allergies, uh, yeah. You're now trying your best not to eat corn or any corn products. You're not gonna die, but if you eat too much, it's like a health bar. And so it'll like amp up and you get all reacty. And then you have to like rev, rev it back down. <laughs> I guess that's how allergies work. Are you satisfied with your art? Hmm. Are you happy with the people you're around? What are some projects that you've made that I would have never thought of? Oh! <laughs> I love a lot of the people that I'm around right now. Um, which of which I am now not going to be around them <laughs> for like until next fall, which is devastating. But I'm also going to an acting conservatory so that kind of levels out. Oh, you've created such cool things. You wrote some really cool songs that you don't even know about that I really love. Um, you've made some great videos. Ah, oh, the theater. You've made some great theater. You were in two shows and you produced 
a shit ton of more shows. What are some acting gigs that you've done? Ooh, good question. This semester, you're in a 10 minute movement piece with one of your favorite directors on canvas. You're very good friends as well. And you were also in a student written play where you played a goth best friend. You were also props master for a musical, the videographer and the production photographer for the entire theater department. And you were a producer for a lot of different shows with a student written group of which I will not say the name of. <laughs> you also produced a production of Horse Girls written by Jenny Rachel Weiner, which was probably one of the coolest things you saw like on the entirety of campus. It was so good. The cast was fantastic and you are so proud of that. What are some music gigs that you've done? What are some songs? Music gigs. Oh, uh, you had your final voice concert where you sang a classical song that was a little bit out of your comfort level. So I don't really think it was your strongest performance ever. And then you had a blues concert, which was really fun to do and went pretty well. What's a movie that I haven't watched yet that I'm going to really like? Glass Onion! <laughs> it was so good. And the thing is, Glass Onion is my favorite Beatles deep cut song. So I had a hunch at what the plot twist was, but the movie was so good that it convinced me I wasn't right, only for me to have been right at the end <laughs> because I know the song. <laughs> or TV show. Oh, uh, we Ooh, just finished show. the first half of Stranger Things. That's <laughs> what happens in the second half. And Umbrella. <gasps> oh my God, that's so funny. Academy. Oh my God, I've been waiting so long. Umbrella Academy is coming out soon too. You get all of that. You have all that stuff and you're going to go to London. <laughs> One, season three of Umbrella Academy was kind of awful. Two, the end of season four of Stranger Things was really cool. Three, I am I am flying out to London in like two weeks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're gonna go to London. I can't think of anything else to say. I think that's it. See you, Endicott. I will see you in six months exactly. Bye, Endicott. Bye. Oh, that was really cool. Another thing I was thinking the whole time is that I usually cut my own hair and that was a horrible haircut. I really didn't like that haircut at all. <laughs> I think six months was an interesting amount of time to do because I had like a full college semester in between. So half of the things really didn't change, but half of the things also changed a lot. And so it was sort of interesting to see where my mind was sort of at, but also where my life was sort of at. And I really liked that a lot. I think next time I'd probably do a year's gap and then afterwards maybe like longer. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what I do next. Oh, ha, 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 subscribe.